EA Sports. It's in the game. Live from the Verizon Center in Washington, it's the Washington Wizards and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hi everybody, Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. They're just about set for the introductions. Let's go to the public address. All right, D.C. Here are the starters for your Washington Wizards. Starting at center, number 33, Brendan Haywood. Number two, Deshaun Stevenson. Starting at the other guard, number zero, Gilbert Arenas. Starting at forward, number three, Karan Butler. Starting at the other forward, number four, Anton Jameson. Steve, what is Washington looking to do here tonight? Well, anytime you play against this team, Marv, you have to be aware of Zadrunas Ilgauskas. He's got a very good all-around game. He can beat you inside or out. And one of the softest touches of any centers in the NBA, but solid low post player as well. So you've got to be physical with him, keep a body on him, and keep him off the glass. And the bucket! Arenas finding room, and Gilbert Arenas misfires. Marv, I'm not sure what he's doing. Plenty of time to shoot, plenty of time to make the defense work, and he just bails them out with a long attempt. Gibson gets it down low. Here's Ilgauskas, and Ilgauskas not able to score. Terrific offense, Marv. That's exactly what you want, getting something in the paint close to the basket, but they just didn't convert. Shot clock down to two. The assist to number two, Deshaun Stevenson. Gibson setting it up. Nice pass inside. Gordon penetrating. Jumper off the mark. He fires from downtown. He hit it. Steve is a fellow Arizona alum. You have followed Gilbert Arenas' career very closely. He's come a long way with that shooting score. Well, he has one. He wasn't a great shooter in college, but he's put in so much time and effort over the years that he's just gradually gotten better and better to the point now where I think he's one of the best shooters in the NBA. Arenas walks it across. Here's the switch. Hayward gives it up. Hayward. Gibson ends up with it. Marv, they need to be alert and sharp offensively, and that's certainly not the case there. Good job by Arenas. Stevenson giving no room. Here's Hughes. And Larry Hughes could not finish. That's about all you could hope for there, Marv. A nice attempt, easy shot, just couldn't convert. Arenas getting room and scores. Martin Arenas, of course, comes from a long line of great guards from the University of Arizona. Gibson moving it across. Two minutes in the first quarter. 
Here's Gibson, and Daniel Gibson able to hit. Cavaliers. Delivery to Ilgauskas. Ilgauskas able to extend, and Ilgauskas not able to hit. Well, that's why you challenge every shot, Marv. Even when somebody gets close to the rim, you've got to make them earn it, and it's pretty good defense there. James trying to stay in front of him. Here's Butler, and Karan Butler off the mark. James kicks it out. Good job by Stevenson. And Larry Hughes not able to hit. Here come the Wizards. Arenas with a nice pass. Yes! Gibson gets inside. And Daniel Gibson comes up short. Well, they got exactly what they wanted, Marvin. A nice high percentage shot, but they could not convert. The assist to number zero, Gilbert Arenas. Open shot. And Larry Hughes with his first bucket. Stevenson with the move. And Deshaun Stevenson blows the layup. Gibson firing. And Daniel Gibson not able to hit. Arenas finds the room. That's the end of the first. The Wizards lead by three. Steve, you look at the stat sheet as we often do over the course of the, of the telecast. Uh, not much going on to be able to separate these two clubs. Well, neither team was able to distinguish itself in the first quarter, Mar. but I, I think both clubs need to pick up the activity, the energy. It, it just looked a little sluggish out there to me at times. And I think the second quarter, the pace would pick up. Butler shoots the three. The jumper is off the mark. Here's Gordon and puts it down. They've got to tighten up their defense there, Martin. Poor rotation. Ilgauskas with the block. And the pass play broken up. Here come the Cavaliers. Hughes looking for the opening, and Larry Hughes off the mark. But when you have a lead, you want to continue to try to build upon it, and the way you do that, Mark, is solid defense. And draws the foul. Jamison to the line. He's 73% at the line. Jamison, a big scorer and rebounder, Marv, particularly on the offensive end. He loves to clean up offensive rebounds and get putbacks. He's got that unorthodox delivery, but finds a way to score with that feathery touch around the basket. James fires, and LeBron James able to hit. Steve, I think back to the first time we saw LeBron James. We did a preseason game together, and you look at his jump shot now and what it was. He has come a very long way. Well, he has, Marv. You wondered early on if he'd ever develop into a good shooter, but he, he did it so quickly, and I think it's a testament to just his amazing athleticism and his diligence. He's worked hard at it. Butler coming over with some help defense. Good job by Stevenson. Hughes hooks the speed on, and Larry Hughes not able to score. 
Well, pretty good offensive execution, but they can't quite finish the play, and that's important, especially in a close game. And a foul is called. Snow has checked in for the first time. Gilbert Arenas. Into the game for the Cavaliers. Number 14, Ira Haywood hitching over. Shot clock to seven. And Eric Snow taking advantage off the double team. Well, with a hand in his face, he somehow manages to make it anyway. Arenas on the pull-up, off the mark. And a foul is called. Defensive foul to number two, Deshaun Stevenson. That's his first personal team foul, number two. Snow accelerating, and Eric Snow not able to hit. And Daniel Marshall could not finish. Arenas pushing it down. Here's Butler. And the bucket. Well, you have to love the transition, Marv. They get the ball, get out, run the open lanes, and find the open man. Easy, too, there. Jamison stepping over. Open opportunity. And the field goal. Delivery to Butler. Nearly intercepted. Snow comes across. And he's rejected. Jamison on the run. Here's Arenas. And Gilbert Arenas blows the layup. Great work in transition, but he's got to convert that shot. Delivery to Ilgowskis for three, and Eric Snow able to knock it down. Arenas gets it inside. Delivery to Arenas. Arenas gets it across, and Deshaun Stevenson takes advantage. Snow bringing it across. Nice entry pass. Marshall fires one up. Well, in a close game, Marv, you can't give up anything easy in this team playing tough defense inside. Newble to the pull-up. The Wizards will get it back. Well, this is a tight game. This club is trying to develop some kind of offensive rhythm, and turnovers like that one are not going to help at all. Delivery to Arenas. Arenas working on the perimeter. Shot clock down to four. Shot clock is down to two. Final seconds, and he'll fire it up from beyond half court. And halfway through this one, the Wizards lead by two. The Wizards with a very strong performance. They've shot the ball well, but involved in a close contest. Well, you'd almost expect them to be ahead by more, Mar, because they shot the ball well. As you said, they've really spaced the floor. Their offensive efficiency has been solid. But with this slight lead, you have to wonder, if they go cold in the second half, well, they're very susceptible, I think, to losing this lead. What do you look for in the second half? Well, I think the coaching staff, Mar, is going to look at some of the matchups, some of the possible mismatches that they can concoct out on the floor. And if they can continue to shoot the ball well, get that same off offensive efficiency that they had in the first half. They're in pretty good shape. And Brendan Haywood not able to score. Boy, easy one there. I'm not sure how he missed that shot. Offensive foul, so the ball will go back to the Wizards. 
Well, Marvin, a close game like this one, I mean, those mistakes eventually could be the difference in the game. Here's the switch. Shot block. Here come the Cavaliers. And a foul is called. The number zero, Gilbert Arenas. That's his second personal team foul, number one. Good job by Jameson. Hughes got it down low, and it's rejected. Down to two, and Drew Gooden comes up short. Here come the Wizards. Stevenson with the shot, and Deshaun Stevenson off the mark. Gibson to the front court. Delivery to James. James with the shot. And LeBron James with the bucket. Arenas looking to make his move. And able to knock it down. Arenas is four for six from three-point territory. Beautiful execution there, Mark. You gotta love the game plan. I mean, this team is getting guys the ball in areas where they're comfortable. And even with that shot contested, it doesn't matter. It's on. inside James again and LeBron James not able to hit here come the Wizards an open opportunity for three and Gilbert Arenas not able to hit what a choice of a shot in that situation I don't know what he's thinking it's a close game they need a bucket and he pulls up for a fadeaway 38 footer Good job by Arenas. Gibson looking for the open man. And LeBron James off the mark. And Ilgauskas will shoot two. Ilgauskas at the line for the first time. Ilgauskas, a guy who you have to be very concerned with at the defensive end of the floor because he's got a very polished low post game. He can also step out onto the floor and make about an 18, 19 foot jump shot. So a guy who is very feared offensively. Look out, good play. Gibson with a layup opportunity. And Daniel Gibson draws the foul. Gibson at the line, first time tonight. Rebound by Jamison. Arenas pushes it down. Open opportunity. Yes. I can't believe he'd take that shot in such a close game, but he gets it to go down. remaining and it's a three second violation steve what do you think uh, good call i know you're constantly checking out those three second violations i thought it was a little quick marv it looked like he was only in there for maybe 2.9 and all of a sudden you know the ref calls it and we're going the other way it's a, a rare call you don't see that often that's a 10 to 2 run for the wizards this is a very important time in this game marv the lead getting a little out of hand they might want all right we're ready they're setting it up Shot clock down to seven. Shot clock down to five. Not able to hit the three. Well, they used a lot of the shot clock, Mark, but when it started winding down, there was nothing there. That's a tough shot. Haywood gave it up. Here's Stevenson. Yes, Stevenson is three for six from the field. A minute remaining in the quarter. Wizards up by 10. Gibson in possession. Defense! 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 
delivery to Gooden. Shot clock is down to five. Down to three. Gooden with the shot clock going down and scores. Gooden is two for five from the field. Difficult shot. Wow, I can't believe he made that one. Nice play. Ilgauskas firing, and Ilgauskas able to knock it down. Down to 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Wizards up by eight. Arenas looks to the bench. Four seconds remaining. Final seconds, and this will do it for the quarter as he flings it. Three quarters through this game, the Wizards lead by 10. As we head to the fourth quarter, Steve, as you know, you've been there before. This game is still within reach. Well, anytime you have a, a comfortable lead and you're at home, Marv, it's important to try to close things out, and you do that with defense. You don't want to trade buckets here. You've got to make stops and really... Gibson walks to the front court. Here's Hughes. And Larry Hughes comes up short. Handled by Hughes. Hughes walking it up. Good job by Stevenson. Accelerates. Hughes able to get the shot off. What very difficult shot there, Marv. Somehow managed to get it in. Arenas, nice move. Nice entry pass. Haywood gets it down low. And Brendan Haywood could not finish. Gibson giving no room. Accelerates. And LeBron James called for the foul. That's his first. Nice job there, Marv, getting to the free throw line. This is how you maintain a lead in the fourth quarter. Butler at the line for the first time. Karan Butler, a very talented player, Marv. He can shoot from the perimeter, but also put the ball on the floor and get to the rim. He's very athletic and strong and a terrific defensive player as well. Gibson moving to the front court. Here's Hughes. And Larry Hughes off the mark. And stuffs. Terrific effort there on the offensive glass, Marv. That's pure hustle. And Antoine Jameson blows the layup. But you don't want to get sloppy here, Marv. This team has built this lead, but you miss easy ones like that. The advantage will vanish in a hurry. Two minutes gone by in the fourth. Wizards up by five. Arenas able to break it down. The Wizards control. Jamison kicks it back out. Shot clock at seven. Down to four. And rebounded by Ilgauskas. Hughes gets space. And Larry Hughes not able to hit. Marv, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Here come the Cavaliers. Ilgauskas to the rim, and Ilgauskas not able to hit. Here come the Wizards. Stevenson takes to the rim, 
and Deshaun Stevenson give it away at home. Deliver to Ilgaskis. Ilgaskis fires. And the field goal. Arenas takes all the way. He scores and a foul. Walks it across. Accelerates. Kicks it up. Gibson with a quick release. Yes. Great possession there, Marv. Not much room for error here, so offensive execution down the stretch is key. Arenas open for three. And Gilbert Arenas comes up short. Gibson finds the opening, fires, and Daniel Gibson not able to hit with a clutch bucket. Marv, with the game on the line, an extra opportunity, an extra possession can be the difference between winning and losing. That's a terrific play. Arenas finding room. Here's Stevenson, and Deshaun Stevenson comes up short. Here come the Cavaliers. To the rim, and he puts it down. The assist to hey, number 23, LeBron James. Come on. Arenas gives it up. And Deshaun Stevenson off the mark. And Elgowskis with his last rebound now has a double-double. And turns it over. Arenas pushing it. Here's the double. And that is an offensive foul. Timeout taken late here in the fourth. Mark, this is where coaches look at their menu of ATOs after timeout plays. Everybody's got them. They're going to look at matchups here and try to pick the best one and try to get a score. Hughes fires one up. And Larry Hughes not able to hit. No choice here. They had to stop the clock so they give the foul. Jamison at the line. If he makes both free throws here, Marv, they're in great shape because it becomes a two-possession game. Two misses at the line, but still lead by two. And timeout with little time left in this one. Marv, every coach in the NBA has a menu of what they call ATOs, after timeout plays. They're going to go to something they're very comfortable with, probably try to get the ball to their go-to man. This game has come down to the final seconds. And this is for the win. They come up short. Well, we are headed to overtime. All right, here we go. Gibson looks to run. Delivery to James. James gets it right back for three. The jumper is off the mark. Here come the Wizards. Arenas gets inside. That was a three-point attempt. And Karan Butler for three. Gibson with the move. Here's Gibson. And Daniel Gibson comes up short and steps out of bounds. Excellent job defensively challenging the shot there, Marv. Oh, that is a costly turnover. Wide open. And Gilbert Arenas not able to hit from downtown. Butler putting the speed on. And Karan Butler got the roll. Mark, where's the defense? You've got to slide your feet, get in front of people defensively. Gibson moving it across. Defense! 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 Nice pass inside. Ilgowskis with the turnaround. And again, Washington on the run. Arenas 
Finds the room. Open shot. And Karan Butler off the mark. Here come the Cavaliers. And a stone. Back come the Cavaliers again. Hughes looking for the opening. Here's James. Yes! Arenas forced to give it up. Antoine Jameson with the bucket and he'll head to the line. Impressive display of athleticism, Mark. The ability to hang in the air, finish the play, and get fouled. Jamison back at the line, looking to complete a three-point play. Two minutes gone by in overtime. Wizards up by six. Arenas with the steal. Offensive foul. Gibson comes across. Delivery to Gooden. Jamison trying to stay in front of him. From downtown. Off the mark. Tough shot there, but I think this offense has to move the ball. Try to get it inside. Maybe attack the rim. Don't settle for so many outside jumpers. That's a 10-2 run for the Wizards. Well, they've got to find a way to get back in this game. Either a timeout or a solid offensive possession. Gibson gets it inside. Here's Gooden, and Drew Gooden not able to hit. Butler throwing off the mark. Nice job challenging that shot once again, Marv. And LeBron James misfires. And Brendan Haywood called for the foul. That's his second. Ilgauskas to the line. Well, I like his aggressiveness, Marv. That's going to lead to two free throws, and he's practically automatic from the line. Gauskas with 14 points. Three minutes gone by in OT. Wizards up by six. Arenas gave it up. Here's Butler. And LeBron James with the foul. That is his second. Butler at the line. with 12 points. Cleveland needs to get something going here. Arenas giving no room. Six on the 24. They clear it out. Hughes had to fire it up. The shot clock was down to two. Here come the Wizards. Arenas fires it. He hit it. Arenas is 6 for 14 from the three-point line. Cleveland trying to stop the bleeding. And Mike Brown wants to talk. Cleveland now has two timeouts left. And they're ready to play. Gibson setting it up. Rejected. Gibson looking to make his move. Here's James. And LeBron James not able to hit. Delivery to Arenas. Not able to hit the three. Here come the Cavaliers. Ilgauskas again. And he scores, getting the friendly roll. Oh, he fouled him intentionally, and that'll mean free throws. Arenas to the line. Daniel Gibson, that's his third personal. They are now in the penalty. with 33 points. 
Gibson bringing it across. Here's Hughes. And Larry Hughes not able to score. Arenas pushes it up. Swatted away. Arenas steps out of bounds. He fires from downtown, and Daniel Gibson not able to hit. Five seconds remain. Arenas, nice move. The jumper is off the mark. We needed an extra period to decide the outcome. The Wizards take it. The final score is 62 to 51. Gilbert Arenas provided the spark with 33 points. This is Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from the Verizon Center in Washington.